and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. And in this video, we're going to be going over the ZWO uh, 8 position electronic filter wheel. We're going to pull these off. We're going to get our uh, filters installed. And then we're going to get it connected up to the mini PC and ultimately make sure it's working in SGP. So first, let's get uh, this little guy tore apart here. And one of the reasons why I want to do this on the bench and get it saved into SGP is I do not want to do like I fear and throw everything together, get it out there on the telescope, and then try to remember later on, oh crap, what was... Position one, was that luminance or was that H alpha? I don't remember. That could make for a very bad day. So, one more screw left to go. So as you can see, we got the filter wheel here. The the filters, my USB cable, so everything should work. All right. Eight positions. So let's first get this connected up to our PC. Okay, that was a little more difficult than I had hoped, but it will work. As soon as I plug it in, I guess it's doing a self-test. Goes to position one. Let's go over to the laptop. And let's, I've already installed the driver. So let's do our filters. Let's try filter wheel number one and settings. And let's do position one. We will do that as loom. Hopefully these only screw in one way. We're going to open them up. There's our luminance filter. And yes, it does look like they only screw in one way. And back to the PC, so position two, let's make that red. That would be this one here. Gotta be careful not to cross thread these. There we go. And so let's go ahead and make this red. Three will be blue. And four will be green. So let's go ahead and get these all installed. Okay. 
If you notice here, a little trick I like to use when I'm working on stuff like this, as you'll see, I'm going in the opposite direction. You can almost feel it drop in. There we go. And then you can just kind of feel it just drop just, just a hair when it catches that thread. And then you can go and tighten them up. And when somebody showed me that trick uh, a couple decades ago, actually, it I have yet to cross thread anything ever since then. If I use that little trick, I don't cross thread it. So, you know, like I always say, you do you, I'll do me. This works for me, so I will continue to do that. So next one is going to be H alpha. That will be in position five. And back to the PC. So position five is H A. This is, let's put S2 in the sixth. Don't know why, let's just do it. Let's rename that to S2. And then seven is going to be O3. Should be this filter here. Last but not least, we've got the hydrogen beta filter. All right, so let me update that. H beta. We will click OK. We will click OK. Now the only thing we don't have on here is our filter all set. Obviously we'll not be able to do that until it gets dark out. Now, if we save that, we show the sequencer. It's not showing up in here. So we got new sequence. Yes. Cancel. I'm just going to got the night crawler filter wheel should have been connected. Where is it? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and close out and when in doubt, start from scratch. <clears throat> there it is. So we're going to connect up. 
show it connected. Do we have docking module show in our filter wheel? And we do. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here. Interesting. Why is that not? Okay. So we are on loom. Let's do okay. Why is this not? Filter wheel settings. Yeah. Interesting. Why is that not showing anything there? Um, either way, right now it's on loom. Let's go to red. That should be two. Three should be blue. Green is four. Five is H alpha. Six. Seven. Eight. Then if I go back to luminance, let's try to go to H alpha. All right, so that's working. So we will disconnect that. We will close out of SGP. Oh, no, no. Do you want to save? Yes. Why not? Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so. I'm going to get this button back up. I have all my filters saved. So, and this is working. So, let me button this back up and uh, then I'll move on to the camera. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stick around for the outro. And as always, Clear skies. Have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you so choose. Ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new. And as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.